Hello and welcome to the roundup of the final 2021 edition of the Engineering News and Mining Weekly magazine, published on Friday, 10 December 2021. In this week's cover article, Engineering News and Mining Weekly reporter Nadine James explores how, as the global steel industry mills sustainable solutions, South Africa is urged to green its iron ore. Amid the global trend towards sustainability and in the wake of the 26th United Nations Climate Change Conference of the Parties, or COP26, mining companies and steel producers are considering the viability of greening the steel industry and, as a result, the iron ore sector. The engineering news features include a review of the year that was, with a preview of what companies hope to achieve in 2022. The Trane Automotive Special Economic Zone, which is on the road to completion. The top renewable energy projects, where renewable energy projects create economic and power growth. And the top roads projects, where a road rehabilitation project is initiated. The Mining Weekly features focus on the top coal projects, with a new colliery planned for early 2022. The top Platinum Group Metals projects, where a Zimbabwe-based miner expands its operations. And the top Gold projects, where a Gold project is still on track to meet its payback targets. This week's business leader is Simon Swanapool, CEO of RocketNet. And as this week's cartoon shows, patchy global vaccination penetration and ongoing hesitancy at home meant the emergence of a new COVID-19 variant was as inevitable as the fourth wave. We hope you enjoy this week's edition of Crema Media's Engineering News and Mining Weekly. We're taking a break for the festive season and we'll be back in January 2022 with a new edition of the magazine that offers you news about developments in the real economy.